Hey everyone, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing from Chanel for you guys. This was a purchase that was not planned. Um, it was just, I saw it, um, I thought about it, and I decided to jump on it and get it. Um, first, I <laughs> had to find out if it was available or not, and the colors it was available in. So this is a handbag. This is the first time that I'm going to see it in person. Um, I did see it in a vlog in a different color and also saw it in some uh, pictures. And then I contacted my Chanel sales associate in Dallas and asked if it was available. Or if she had it in her boutique and she had it in in three different colors. Um, normally I like brown bags and black bags and things. Um, I don't really venture out into color, um, simply because I just don't want a big bag with the bold color and also I kind of like to stick to my browns and my blacks. So this handbag was available in the cut in black and in beige and in, um, burgundy. All three colors are beautiful. But for the beige, I was hoping that it was that dark caramel beige color, you know, that Chanel sometimes comes out with, or even the brown, and I would have just been like, that, you know, I'm getting that color. But I just stuck with a classic color from Chanel, and um, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to stop blabbering, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did purchase. So it did come this morning, and I did have her overnight it. So UPS to drop this off this morning and I'm excited because this is kind of um, going to replace a bag that I love the look of, which is the Chanel GST, but I don't like how boxy it is and I don't like the fact that the straps are kind of short. For me at least, for my body type and um, even then... Uh, even if I was a little bit thinner, I, I don't think I would, uh, I, I don't think, I, I'm more of a, you know, a longer strap kind of person. I like the longer straps. Personally, it's, it's com more comfortable and that's why I enjoy longer straps and that's why the GST really didn't work out for me. So, and I explained that on several videos. So, let me go ahead and unbox this. I'm excited because, like I mentioned, I did see this in a vlog, and it was rumored <laughs> that this bag was going to replace the GST here in the States. So, obviously, it's the GST is still being sold in, um, in Europe and, and uh, I believe Canada and all that. So, in, in that area, but in the U.S., the GST has been... I guess discontinued unless you're lucky to find it so she put tissue on top which is really nice because I could really use that with air paper and I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like inside because it looks beautiful so there it's the way it looks <laughs> so she did put a card Go ahead and take it out. And there's just more air paper on the bottom of the box with some more tissue. So again, here is what it looks like. Oh! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. There it is. <clears throat> I don't know what is wrong with my throat. It's just, it's really been rough. Um, I think I'm probably coming down with something. I hope not, but it feels like I am. Okay. She did the card, which probably has my, um, my, um, receipt in there. So this is the essay that I work with. Um, she's in Highland Park Village. 
I do have my receipt, which if I remember, I'll share with you. And she, the card there, she says, always, dear Susan, always a pleasure. This handbag is in good hands, a great home, warmest regards. That was really nice of her. And I always keep these. I'm probably going to, um, I will probably, uh, what do you call it, frame some of them. So again, one last time before I unravel the camellia flower and the linen um, ribbon. And like I did mention, this is my first time seeing it in person. So it, let me see. It comes with the smell of the leather. So of course it does come with the care booklet and the cleaning cloth. And here is the Chanel dust bag. smells so nice and this is um, the dust bag seems a little different I don't know to me it seems a little bit thicker and the straps as you can see the drawstrings look feel a little bit thicker as well so that's nice gosh you can smell the leather smell of this bag is so so intoxicating I mean really intoxicating Okay, you guys ready to see what I got? I wonder if I should just take it out completely. Let me take out the whole, all the straps so you can just see the bag. Take out the, because she did put, um, there are these protectors and stuff. The felt cloth all over it. Um, inside the bag, outside the bag, all over the bag. So, here is the bag. You guys ready? This is the uh, tote bag. I don't know the actual name of it, but since it does have the tag, it just says large shopping, 30 centimeters black. So, this is what she looks like. And as you can see, it has a longer strap draw than the GST. Um, since I do not have the GST, I don't know. Um, I don't know uh, the difference. I can put it in the description box below um, once I figure out the measurements. But this is what it looks like. It doesn't have the big CCs here, which I really love. But it does have the little charm here, which is still in plastic. The hardware is ruthenium, ruthenium hardware, kind of like the boys. And this is in caviar leather. It is so soft. There's the side view of the bag. And there's the back of the bag, which it does have a cute pocket on the back, which I'm really loving. So you can put a cell phone in there. I have my cell phone, my 6 Plus, and it just slides in like that so oh my gosh the leather the smell of the leather is so intoxicating I'm gonna go ahead and pop it on before I show you the inside of it so you can see so there is what it looks like obviously um, you know I can do a review and show you guys better but I like the way it looks um, like I said the strap drop is so much um, longer than the GST and then this beauty has four feet as you can see at the bottom which um, are within them as well as you can see and it has really hard base at the bottom what I also loved about this is that the top of the bag it has these two flaps 
which you can either leave out to close to kind of like you know have some more security over the bag so as you can see nobody can get in your bag when it's like that or you can tuck them in and I'll go ahead let me remove all the paper and stuff in there because it is as you can see it is stuffed and it is similar to the GST on the interior as well but this um, I believe has a lot more um, functionality like it has more storage and all that in here Sorry about that. There's so much tissue in here. I think that's it. Yep. Okay, so you can see here is the bag. And as you can see, it has a compartment back here and here. It's got the zipper compartment, another compartment here, and then one in the back. So if you didn't want to use these flaps to cover, you can just simply tuck them in. It's similar to a bag um, that Tiffany from uh, Breakfast Tiffany's showed. It's kind of like an accordion style bag and it did have these flaps that you could flap over to cover. But this is what it looks like when it is tucked in. So as you can see, it can be open um, like the GST, which I absolutely love. But there is so much room. I mean, like I said, there is the compartment back here. Then you have this part compartment that has a zipper. This one says Chanel um, made in Italy. And it does have uh, the uh, D-ring thing, the little lobster clasp. Then you have the zipper in the middle, which is pretty a uh, nice zipper once you get it open. So you can put your wallet in there if you feel more comfortable. Then you have another compartment there and the front compartment there. So you have plenty of room in this bag. There is a lot of room in this bag, which I absolutely, absolutely love because you can hide a lot of things in here. You just, you can. So... <laughs> It is really, really nice. Um, I can do a review on this bag later on. Um, I don't, I haven't seen this bag on YouTube. Um, but then I also haven't researched it, so I don't know. But no one that I follow has purchased this bag that I know of. So I can always do a review, but I'm going to inspect it. It is so soft, if you guys can feel it. Um, this, I think, is going to have more structure than the um, GST well. And it doesn't, it's, it's still different from my other tote bag because this is a little bit more of a smoother, more shinier, uh, caviar than my other tote. And I can, um, do a comparison video on, uh, my other Chanel tote that has the, the classic flap at the top, but this bag is beautiful as you can see. Um, I believe it is bigger because I did see the side-by-side -side, um, from the GST, but like I said, I can do the dimensions and all that. I can put all that information below. But this bag is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Like I said, it has the pocket in the back and um, the CC here, which I absolutely love. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for taking time uh, to watch my video. Um, I always appreciate that. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, leave me a comment below. I love interacting with you guys. Um, like I said, I will end up doing a review video on this bag and, you know, some um, model shots. So that way you guys can see uh, the way the bag looks on um, somewhat of my size. And also, I'll leave all the dimensions um, in the description box below as well. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye for now.